What's going on, everybody? Swaggy Nation, Cowboy Nation. How we feeling? Uh, I guess it's playoff time. Whoops. Um, beat Washington, you know, to secure the number two seed, which is um, a better situation than being the five seed. Because we don't want that. We want um, as easy as a path as possible and it's always crazy when it's like you can't you can't uh want can't want you're not allowed to want the easiest road which makes no sense because from the beginning of time of football i guess in the playoffs you always want a, you want to be at home, and B, because that's what home field advantage is. So the fact that people are shitting on Dallas for wanting to be at home, they just don't want Dallas to win. That's the thing, or they don't want Dallas's chances to be greater to win. Um, and then B is you want to play the ideal teams. Obviously, all these teams are in the playoffs for a reason. But it's still, you know, certain, you know, I mean, I'm not going to say bad, teams are bad because they're not. Obviously, they're in the playoffs for a reason. But when it comes to playoff time, you, you know the teams that, I don't want to say shouldn't be there, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, Dallas will play Green Bay. And, I mean, obviously, we all know the the past with Dallas versus Green Bay, but Aaron Rodgers isn't there no more. Um, Green Bay has a good team. I think Jordan Love is a is a great young quarterback. I'm actually a huge fan of his. I think he's I think he's very he's very talented. Um, they got good coaching. They got good players. Uh, so you know it'll be playoff football for sure. Um, and then you know just. Just the way that the bracket falls, maybe we see Detroit again if we get through the first round. You never, I mean, I hope that's not the case. But listen, here's the thing. The, the, obviously, Super Bowl is what you want. Obviously, that's what every team wants. But for me, can we just please get to the conference championship? Can we just get there? Like... We cannot have three 12 win seasons. The dude is swerving and shit. Um, we can't have three 12 win seasons. One divisional round, two, two divisional round knockouts. Yeah. Or was it the wild card last year? Anyways. And we can't, we can't get, we have to get further than the divisional. I mean, we have to. We can't get there and lose again. We can't do that. Because, yes, you're building something, but all in all, you have to get to the conference championship, like, at least. The 49ers have done it. You know, the Chiefs have done it. The Bills have done it. They've been doing it. The Bengals have done it. The Eagles have done it. You know, like, we're in the same boat as these teams. We've been in the same boat as these teams kind of the last few years. Um, the last couple years before this one. It was like, eh. But even still, with this season, it was a great season. You know? Um, it was a great season. Great NFL season. Overall, I thought it was great. Um, but for Dallas, it was it was successful. Um, you know, shit the bed a few times. What team doesn't? Dak played great. And I think the main reason that I came on here was to talk about uh, the narratives and the pushing the goalpost back uh, on Dak and in comparison to um, other MVP front runners. You know, league leaders in in so and so stat or 
who so and -so, what so and so has or whatever. Um, you know, the touchdowns compared to Josh Allen or Lamar Jackson or whoever else is in the MVP conversation. Uh, Y'all fail to realize that earlier in the season, Dak didn't play in fourth quarters. So, I think it was like a total of seven quarters or something. That's 12 minutes each. And who says they they wouldn't have, you know, tried to keep it going, you know? That's a stat that people don't look at. He set out seven fourth quarters. And he's still leading the league in passing touchdowns. And Josh Allen is up there with all them touchdowns because he's up there with all them turnovers. Do you know what happens when you turn the ball over a lot? Hopefully, and most of the time, and I'm sure it's the case here, uh, the other team scores. So you have to score again. That's the case with Josh Allen. He turns the ball over. The other team scores. I don't know exactly. I mean, there's 18 games, so I'm sure it happened a few times. How many turnovers did he have? I'm just saying. So you have to go out and score. So I think the touchdown numbers might be a little, I don't want to say inflated, but um, it isn't what, it, it's not what it seems, you know? like what, what people be saying when when they get caught cheating or something. It isn't what it looks like. That's Josh Allen. It isn't what it looked like. Because, like, even against Dallas, he didn't do shit. It was all James Cook. That was such a... That game pissed me off, man. Um, but, yeah, it's like... I don't know. I just think Dak has played great. I think the Cowboys have played great. Um, you know, the whole Detroit thing, I don't care. Uh, I'm sure somebody's said something about Washington game, about how it was, it was Washington or, um, you know, whatever. I mean, we took care of business. And then nobody's nobody talks about the Eagles. Nobody talks about the Eagles and, and their uh, – whatever they got going on. And I understand that the great teams can bounce back, you know, because that can still happen. But I've been saying it. I don't know if I ever uploaded a video saying it. I might have one in, in my drafts, aka a video I recorded and didn't upload. Or I might have just said it out loud to a friend. I don't know. Because during the season, you, you talk a lot. But... I've been saying that the Eagles are frauds because they they had some games during the season where they shouldn't have won like at all like ref referee help because that's an argument now I'm, I'm telling you right now from from this last NFL season league wide that's an excuse you can use I don't give a shit that's always been a thing and people say the refs don't control the games. Yes, they fucking do. Refs control the games more than the fucking actual players do. Or the script writers. Whichever one you want to say. But the referees literally control how the game goes. Micah Parsons hasn't had a holding call in like two months. But it's another argument. The Eagles... They survived a lot during the season. And they say the great teams go through adversity. But their adversity was a little different. Um, and going back to, like, the stats thing, you know, Jalen Hurts has, like, 16 rushing touchdowns. They're not rushing touchdowns. Those are not rushing touchdowns. I'm sorry. They're not. It, it, it's, it's not. It... It's just stats are so inflated, and 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 people are the reason why 
stats are overflated, inflated, whatever the fuck. Um, because, it, I don't know, man. Listen, the playoffs are about to start. I think it's, uh, it's very exciting. Um, yeah, we'll just see what happens, man. <laughs> Go Cowboys.